The Perkites bought it first and set about the business of posting a big total almost from the off. Justin Gillen and Tion Webster posted a quickfire 31 to set the tone for the innings. Webster looked in the mood as he took the lead. But just when he looked set for a big one, he was gobbled up at slip by Mario Belcon of Richard Harris's bowling. Isaiah Raja joined the fun and didn't take long to settle, striking the ball with fierce power. He would lose Gilendo with 62 on the board. Enter Nicholas Alexis, one of the forgotten men in local cricket, and he played a blinder. He went after the Merry Boys bowling with murderous intent, mixing it up with a fair share of sixes and fours. No one was spared as he brought the long handle and had the scoreboard ticking over at a rapid pace. He raced the 58 double quick time as the score ballooned. He would lose Raja to give Murray Boys a little reprieve. But that was all that it was, as he was back hitting the long ball again to post a brilliant 78 and was fifth out at 178 for five. The Parkite would muscle a couple more boundaries to eventually post a formidable 195 for five as soon as Narayan added 13 in the dregs with a couple big blows. Harris at 2 for 41 and Mohammed 2 for 38 for the Diggle Martin outfit. The Murray Boys reply got off to a brisk start with board openers looking positive. But Mario Belcon would depart attempting another big hit and a big chunk of Murray Boys hopes went with him. Carry Pear would take aim and help tighten the screws on the opponents. In the end, Murray Boys could only muster 154 to hand the Parkeye's victory by 41 runs and safe passage through to Thursday's semi-finals. Austin Mark, TDT Sports.